Well, developing now, we've been hearing a lot lately about dangerous chemicals in drinking water, and that's part of the reason why One Upstate County is building a new treatment center. 7 News' Taylor Farmer has more. Clean drinking water is important to everyone. Now the EPA is requiring water systems to be more proactive in protecting communities from forever chemicals. Some upstate water authorities were proactive about water safety even before the recent ruling by the EPA. Pickens County is one of those water systems. Water authority leaders tell us they plan to build a new treatment facility on Lake Kiwi. The plants will be designed to produce 10 million gallons a day with expansion up to 15 available. But when our plant gets up and running in, in the next four to five years, we, we should have the cleanest uh, drinking water in this area. Areas of Pickens County, Lawrence County, Pelzer and Blue Ridge are currently relying on Greenville's clean water, which won an award in 2011 for best drinking water in the country and has won best drinking water in the state several times. While speculations of rate increases are rising with the need of a new facility, Bill Smith with Pickens County Water Authority says even if that happens, it would be minuscule. We're not in it to make a profit. We're in it to make, to make good quality water at a good quantity for our people here in Pickens County. Greenville Water tells us they began testing for PFAS in their water in 2014 and have consistently tested since 2019 with no detections to date. We haven't seen it. Uh, we don't expect to see it. According to the EPA, PFAS, also known as forever chemicals, have been linked to cancers, negatively impact the liver and heart, and can cause immune and developmental damage to infants and children. What makes that PFAS so dangerous? Uh, it doesn't go away. PFAS date back to the 1940s, used to repel oil and water and resist heat. Now, while levels are very low in most drinking water, water facilities are still having an extremely hard time getting rid of them. We've always been a country of I want something and I want it now without thinking about the repercussions of it down the road. And now we're trying to go back and, and, and fix that. Jeff Phillips with Greenville Water tells me he will be taking samples to Anaheim in June to once again compete for best drinking water in the country, hoping to bring that title back here to the upstate. In Greenville, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. Spartanburg Water tells us they have been testing their water for PFAS since 2020 and that their water has come back safe and reliable.